Are you interested in learning how to make your own book trailers? Well, in this video, I'll show you what I do. Hi, I'm Monique and welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then please consider subscribing. And all my new and current subscribers, thank you very much. I'm always asked how I go and create book trailers for my books. Well, it's pretty easy. You really don't need anything fancy. And you might actually already have it on your computer. I typically take my blurb and make it into a script. In other words, I don't want the whole blurb just to run across. I want this sentence, this sentence this sentence. It kind of looks like this. Once I get that done, I go ahead and start looking for pictures or video that might work with it. There are a few places that I go to. I will still go to Pixabay because they really do have good pictures there. I go to Deposit Photos and I also go to a site called Ivado. I love it. I mean, you can get video, pictures, music. They have everything there. I mean, I personally love it. That's actually where I got my website theme from. And yeah, ever since then, yeah, I, I've stayed with them. I absolutely love them. You might see that a many of the videos I have been doing lately, that's who I'm giving credit for, now that they also do music. So this process is the long process. This is what you want to do before you just jump into video. I mean, if you sit there and say, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to do that. No. Find your pictures. Make your script. Look for the music. Decide what kind of end screen you want for your video. All of this I put in place before I even start. Yeah, that's where all my time goes. I'll probably spend one to three hours just doing that. But when I do a book trailer, it's more of a creative outlet for me. When I'm tired of writing, I will go ahead and do a book trailer and you know keep ahead at the same time which is the whole reason for making this video so you can actually see the steps that I take when I am doing my video that is it for this video this is actually just the setup the grunt work you might say that you need to do first before you actually jump into making a video Otherwise, you're going to get frustrated. I know I have done that. So, yeah. Sit there. Go ahead. Do your storyboard. Find the pictures you want to use. The music, video, anything that you want to put in there that can tell your story. And then you can go ahead and jump to the next step. And that next step will be in my next video. So I hope I will see you there. And if you know anybody that this video might help, go ahead, send them on over. Because this will be all about making book trailers. 